This is my Nissan GTR. Quite some time ago, we did the video on it, and uh, the video was about the Pandora Elite alarm system that we installed in it with the remote start. And uh, basically, I demonstrated the alarm system, the remote start, how that works, and also the anti-hijack, which what we installed into it. But however, what we didn't demonstrate is the fact that what would happen if you had the engine remote start and somebody broke into the car? Because um, I've had a few comments about that, um, saying that, oh, could somebody just break into it and drive off because the engine's there running? Um, the answer to that is no. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So I am going to lock the car. So at the moment, it's all open. It's not armed. So car's now locked. Can't open it. Now I'm going to do the engine remote start. I'll just give it a few seconds and it would all kick in. That's all started. I'll show you. Doors are still locked. Start can't gain entry to the vehicle. But what I'm going to do is activate the alarm system. And as you can see, the alarm's going off and the engine cut out instantly. And that's it, really. So that just shows you. If anyone did decide to try to break into the car with the engine running, the alarm system is just going to trigger and the engine just cut off instantly. So it's not like a fuel cut off where it's taken time before it actually cuts off. This is an instant shutdown. So the vehicle is still protected. So that is the remote start that's in my GTR. Even though that's up and running with the remote start, it could be parked wherever, the, um, they're not going to be able to steal the car.